Robinson still to come, right? We've got um, the the monkey thing. Oh, chimpanzee that! And when I was out last Sunday, right, at Johnny's birthday party, yeah, Steve was there. Yeah, got talking about stuff, um, and a debate that we didn't really finish cropped up. It blew your mind, didn't it? Amazing. Oh, no. I know about this. Steve told me this is the uh, infinite amount of monkeys. Um, or a monkey with a typewriter and an infinite amount of time would eventually come up with the works of Shakespeare. Yeah. There was no debate. It's a philosophical, mathematical problem. There's no debate. It's true. It won't happen. No, listen, Carl, listen. Infinity sorts it all out for you, right? An infinite amount of monkeys at a typewriter, right? They would do- they do everything. They type everything. Infinity just sorts it all out for you. There's no getting to it and they're going, oh well, uh, let's have a look what they've done. <gasps> this one's come close. It's Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> it would do it all. It would type everything ever possible, conceivable. Yeah, but-, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a mathematical thing. Well, Infinity we've heard your side of the argument, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's a persuasive one, <laughs> but let's hear Carl, because he yeah. heard about this in a pub last week, yeah, so he's got problem? some strong What's your problem with it? What's your problem with it? Well, f first of all, right, you're saying it's a load of monkeys. It's not just one monkey that's- It depends. That can live forever. It, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's either a, a chimpanzee with a typewriter with an infinite amount of time, he would eventually, by definition, mathematically, type everything ever possible, okay? Or it's an infinite amount of, um, uh, chimps with typewriters, and one of them will type it first time. But already that's, that's sort of, that's not right. You either need to have what one monkey- What do you mean? What, what? You mean the, the, let's uh, employment hear laws? What do you mean it's not right? Let's hear him out. Please. Okay. If it's one monkey- Yeah. With a typewriter that's got loads of ink in it and that, right? At least it knows what it's done in the past. Don't- it's not- Keep in, going! Cry. If you've got a load of monkeys, it's like- it's like if you have too many- what's that saying about too many chefs- Too many spoil chimps spoil the soup. Right. Well, it's the same thing. It's like, well, I, I didn't tell you to put salt in it. I was gonna put salt in it and it messes it up. Whereas if it's just one- they know what's gone on. So what I'm saying uh, is, I, I, I'm just leave him go. I can't be bothered. I Steve. want to hear. I want uh, to hear it, the rest. This blows my mind. He doesn't know what this does to me. It's a mathematical problem. I want to hear the rest. Well, it's just I just don't think it will happen. What I do mean, you mean you don't think it'll happen? Infinity works it out for you by definition. Well, what's stopping them typing the same thing again? They would. They, in fact, the problem should be if you had an infinite amount uh, uh, of time that um, it would type. That works with Shakespeare an infinite amount of times and everything else an infinite amount of times. But you know that's not that's just that's that's not as but not not Shakespeare. Oh, shut up, you, you know, idiot! Rick, do you know what he said to me? I said to him, uh, I just explained it to him. I said, God. "You've got an infinite number of monkeys, infinite number of typewriters. They will e type the complete works of Shakespeare." He yeah. said, "Have they read Shakespeare?" <laughs> You're an idiot! Play a record, said, no, I'm not having this conversation. Not doing it I'm not having it, I'm not having it, because it really, really winds me up. But you're saying they'll do it with no spelling errors. Well, they do it, a, uh, they do it an infinite amount of times. And they do it, they do it wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it, and they spell, uh, the last full stop, uh, wrong an infinite amount of times. And they do it, and they get one thing wrong in Hamlet wrong an infinite amount of times. They do everything an infinite amount of times. But are they going off a story that they've- Play record, Carl, cos <laughs> I'm gonna knock you no, out! I'm just saying- Shut up! Do they know the story? Oh, oh They're the... monkeys! Oh, Christ. No, right, what? okay. What? Lloyd Cole, she's a girl and I'm a man. Good that, innit? It's on XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. As yeah. ever, Rick, there's always someone who steps in to defend Carl. Uh, uh, well, okay, uh, what is the defence? What is the defence? Here's a, an email from Scott Coomer. He says, Carl is actually right. I've got an A-level in statistics and probability. It doesn't matter how long they have and how many monkeys you have, you cannot guarantee they would type the complete works of Shakespeare. Infinity makes it probable they, they would get it right, but not definite. Yeah. Well, y yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying. No. No, you weren't saying, Carl. You don't understand it. Infinity sort of sorts it out. That if they do- if they do- if they do anything, they're- they nearly do everything, won't they? No, I mean, they'll give it a good shot. That. <laughs> no, that's not the point. But the, the point is this- I'd be surprised if they did one page right. Right, listen. <laughs> it's not to do with consciousness. It's not to do with them aiming. 
They are it's, just bashing away it's at like, the it's, it's like they're, they're, they're used to show that there isn't consciousness. They, they, they chose the chimpanzee because it can type, presumably, it's hit because, the keyboard. It's because they hadn't come across you at the time. <laughs> yeah! Yeah. It's to take out thought out of it. It's to take out reason and trying, right? Mm. It's just random. They're saying that if you typed enough things, if the computer was left out, typing everything, if you left it for an infinite amount of time, and they chose Shakespeare because there is meaning behind it, and it's difficult to get it exactly right to show you that infinity would come up with a sh it's not just Shakespeare, it's every novel. It's everything. Fairly eloquent there from Gervais. A quick repost, please, from Carl Pilkington. <laughs> no, I'm just saying what I don't understand. If it hasn't read it, then how does uh, it know where it's going? Oh! I- listen, right. I, okay, listen, right. I- I- I can can't- I, can I just- Look, can I just explain to people, right? Some people have said, oh, why are you cruel to Carl? He drives me mental with things well. like that. What do you mean, well? well can I just- well, let me just- You, just, you just take a breather. <laughs> how do I do your ending? He keeps coming in the week. You know that I work here properly, <laughs> yeah, in the week, don't I? Yeah, I've got a proper job, yeah? Yeah. Uh, should be nine to five, but I normally get in at about eight o'clock and work A lot of people get in at eight o'clock. Working hard, trying to do my job. Three times this week, I've been rushing around, I walk past my little studio, he's sat in there, all right? <laughs> now, because I've got this sort of job, I can get away with it. I said to him, if I was a doctor, <laughs> Would he keep coming to me practice? If you were a doctor, there'd be <laughs> severe problems with the NHS. Well, oh, imagine so that. Uh, I the standards I, would have lowered so much we to, go to if lunch. you can arrive at the hospital, you're a well, doctor. Well, pop in, I go to lunch, don't we? We have a little lunch break, don't we? Yeah. I go, come on, let's go now. He goes, I'm busy. I go, come on, let's go now. He's going, oh, you're doing me, head in. Well, when I was talking about the monkey conundrum with Carl, he said to me, right, if I had a day off work, and I was, say, watching the TV, and with one hand I was typing a uh, typewriter, <laughs> would I type Shakespeare? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, but you see, there's certain things. We were talking a little bit about this stuff the other week, weren't we? When we said uh, <laughs> you were going on about Einstein, and I said he's not that good. Um, you know, he calls MC Square. You know, it sounds good, but I've never used it. And that right? <laughs> I've never yeah. used it. Uh, you haven't used two and two equals four, Carl. The fella with an apple fell on his head. You know. It could have been anyone sat under that tree. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just annoying. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Yeah. And, uh, and just Newton, to be gets a all, Newton gets all the credit <laughs> no, yeah. you know for his mean? laws of the universe. <laughs> well, other people were working whilst he was having a lunch break under the tree. Okay. So, in a way, it's like he didn't deserve to have that again, success story. Again, forget the apple and the tree and whether he was sitting down and having a lunch break. It's, it's totally irrelevant. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there's certain things that will just happen. You know, it's like I think we were talking when we were out eating the other week. We were talking about Noel Gallagher. Well, this is reason the, the monkey right. discussion came up, right? We God. would- Noel Gallagher- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Rick, I don't want to misquote Noel. I'd be like Herbert Lom in Clue Song and I'd get a twitch whenever he opens his mouth. I don't know what- I don't know- I don't know where to start with some of his statements. Well, as I say, this all- this discussion began because we were talking about a quote that Noel Gallagher supposedly gave. Now, I don't want to misquote Gallagher, but the gist of it was that he said, um, uh, had I- uh, written Wonderwall or whatever, instead of the Beatles writing Strawberry Fields or whatever, I'd be the one that was considered the great songwriter and it wouldn't be the Beatles, you know, it's just the fact that they came first that meant that they get all the credit as being the greatest band I in the world. I don't know where to start with that statement and, either. I mean, that's Gallagher's thing and, uh, and he's, you know, well, whatever, we know what you think, we think of that. What was your point, Carl? I, you agreed with him, didn't you? Yeah, I reckon, right, do you know how we've talked about putting a baby in a room before and it, and it'll know what colour it is and stuff? If, if you've got a room that's painted red, Right, but uh, forget that because that's going to confuse. Hear him out. Hear him out. Listen, I, I, uh, hear listen him to out. me. Say if they did some new TV show, right? Like um, what's that film with Jim Carrey in where the uh, the Truman Show? The Truman Show, right? So they make up a little room, and uh, some woman has some kids, and you say, right, let's put the kids in this room, and they don't know what's going on outside. They they, they don't know anything about like East Enders and that. It's like their little world, right? They don't know anything that's gone on. How could a child survive without EastEnders? <laughs> right, listen. So, you sat in the room, right, and then when they're all asleep... Right, this, wait for this bit. Someone pops. Have, have you heard this Yeah, bit? wait for this bit. They're all in a room. Yeah. They're asleep. Yeah. Someone pops in, puts a guitar next to the bed, <laughs> right, nips off out again. They wake up in the morning and uh, one of them goes, what's this? They don't even know it's a guitar because they've never seen one, right? They're talking English though. Yeah. We just left a guitar out of the recovery. Right, so... There's plenty more to come. So, one of them will pick it up and they'll go, I don't know what it is, and they'll start strumming and they'll go, that sounds good, doesn't it? Give them a few weeks, they could come up with Hey Jude. Whereas, saying, typing Shakespeare, 
a monkey that can't even spell. I see that. <laughs> you can't answer it. Can't I answer might it. come that's, with you, Ricky. That's okay, all right. Does that mean we've got, we've got sort of that Christmas special as well? Yeah, no, sure, sure. Oh, I, I see okay. that. Yeah, well, I'm shooting off in as well. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.